Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name's Rose and today's video is about Black Opium versus Good Girl. I'll let you know my personal opinion, what other people have told me, what the opinion of the general community is, whether it's the fragrance community, but also the average person. What do I recommend? Blah blah blah. All that kind of stuff. If you're interested, just keep on watching. So let's start first with Good Girl by Carolina Herrera. This fragrance has a 3.84 rating on Fragrantica. It came out in 2016 and I'll give you the notes real quick. So in the top we have almond and coffee, bergamot and lemon. The middle notes are tuberose, jasmine, orange blossom, orris and rose. And in the base we have tonka bean, cacao, vanilla, praline, sandalwood, musk, amber, cashmere wood, cinnamon, patchouli and cedar. So loads and loads of notes, but let me tell you, this fragrance is actually pretty simple. To me anyway, like the biggest thing you're gonna get is like a sweet white floral, a bit vanillic. I personally don't really get any coffee note in this one. According to the notes, I would assume it would be a little bit more like a deeper fragrance, like a bit more richer, but for me this is actually quite airy. Yeah, it's more airy, sweet, vanilla, white floral kind of scent. Like, that's what it smells to me anyway. It's very simple, it's pleasant, you can't go wrong with it. I feel like this is definitely a crowd pleaser fragrance. Obviously, if you're more into niche, more unique kind of fragrances, I think this is not gonna be the one for you. But if you're looking for something like an easy grab kind of fragrance, uh, one that you really can't go wrong with, also one that definitely works pretty well as a gift, for example. This one is super easy, most people will like this, but is it that special? No, it's definitely not. And also, in my opinion, I know this is marketed as more like a sexy fragrance, like you can see it in the bottle, the presentation, and to me it's not really that, honestly, I find it more your casual, everyday, kind of a bit sweet, soft, floral. It is kind of intense, it does last quite well, but for me it kind of lacks the depth to be sexy, but that's just my opinion. And now let's get to Black Opium Eau de Parfum, which may be the most sold, most popular perfume at the moment, if, I, if I'm not mistaken. This has a rating of 3.91 on Fragrantica, and the notes of this, the notes one. Of this one are pear, pink pepper, orange blossom, coffee, jasmine, almond, licorice, vanilla, patchouli, cedar, and cashmere wood. And this one, to me, what I get the most is the coffee note, the vanilla note, and also the white florals. And basically, for me, this has more depth, it's much richer and sweeter compared to the other one. It's not much sweeter, but it is definitely sweeter. It's also quite edible. This is kind of a gourmand scent. It almost gives you the feeling that you're drinking a sweet coffee, you know, with a lot of cream, a lot of syrup, like some vanilla syrup, just with a little bit of orange blossom in between, which you might not want to drink, but yeah. Yeah, really, really nice. I think this one is like such a, such a nice scent for now the fall and winter. This fragrance to me is like one of the best fragrances for fall and winter. When you're in that cozy mood, when you want some like a sweet coffee, vanilla scent, something easy, obviously also something that's quite mass appealing, quite easy grab, you don't have to think about it, it smells nice, you feel cozy, you feel comfortable, it's sweet, I think it's a really really good scent for the season now. And for me also, I find this more cozy rather than sexy, which is again more marketed as a going out fragrance. For me, it's more of a fragrance you want to wear at home when you're having a sweet coffee or just coffee in general. When it's cold, you know, outside, when it's storming, when you want something, you know, cozy. And also when you're going maybe to a cafe. And this fragrance in general is really, really well liked. I know that some people in the fragrance community really, really hate this fragrance for some reason. And to be honest, I don't really understand why. Um, but I know, you know, because the generally the very popular fragrances, I feel like 
something like this one for example the black opium or also something like sauvage for example by the way i like both of them and i don't really care if they are popular or not because i'm not gonna make my opinion based on where the, whether they are you know in this case i like both of them and i think of course they are both mass appealing black opium is obviously a very very popular one you will smell a lot of other girls that have this just because obviously if it's most sold it's popular a lot of people will own this a lot of people will know this as well but i feel like it shouldn't keep you from whether you want to wear it or not you know that's just my personal opinion but i don't really care about that personally if i like it i'm gonna wear it whether or not you know it's very popular and yeah i just think like i said it's more of a cozy fragrance rather than like a going out fragrance for me so i think you cannot really go wrong with either of those fragrances you're not going to offend anybody with them you know like they're quite mass appealing but generally i would say you know they're quite easy going but my personal opinion is that i definitely prefer the black opium one to me, I just really like the vanilla coffee mixture. I find it very comforting, very cozy. It's really something I gravitate towards now that it's stormy outside, it's cold, it's always raining. I really like this comforting hug kind of fragrance and also something I don't have to think about that I know I like. My partner really likes this, my friends like this. This is generally really liked. Um, unless it's maybe the fragrance community on YouTube, but the average person really likes this. And Good Girl, I would say, also most people like it. I don't like it as much just because I personally don't like sweet white florals as much. Like there are some exceptions, but in general, that's just not my favorite scent profile. And I also get a little bit of fruitiness, by the way. And I think that mixture of the like vanilla, sweet floral, a bit fruitiness, I have a little bit of a problem with that. Like I don't always like that. And in this case, I don't really love it, but nevertheless, I don't dislike it. I think it's an okay fragrance. But if I pick, I definitely pick Black Opium. So yeah, that was my review for today. I hope I didn't offend anybody with my opinion today. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope that if you like the video, you will give it a like, you consider subscribing to my channel and hit that notification bell. And I hope I see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye bye.